So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to another video in which we'll be seeing how we can manage our state in our applications using Context API provided by React. Now Context API is one of the native implementations given by React itself to manage state in React applications. Managing state is like one of the most important fundamental thing these days for in any application. So you should know that. So first things first, why do you actually need um, context API? Now, in cases where you have a lot of components, like we just have three for now, but in bigger application, when you have a lot and lot of components, what you would want is you want you would want a some sort of a shared storage area which you can just go ahead and read and write. Pretty much like local storage. So if you have seen local storage, you can just go ahead, you know. You can just go ahead and you know use effect and just throw this inside use effect so that use effect so that we just use it use it just once so i can say local storage dot get item you know um something like my variable and you know down here i can just also say local storage or set item my variable and something else now um although you can do this but how would your other components be aware of that something has changed in the local storage and especially um, this my variable now sure you can set up listeners on local storage and stuff but this is not what we are talking about right we want a cross-platform implementation of this because as you know react is not only for web but also for mobiles in the form of react native for hardware for all that stuff so it's important that react actually provides a native implementation for this and that comes in the form of context API. Now, the first step in creating a context API is to actually create a context. Now, what do I mean by that is you just need to create some sort of context saying, let's say my context, and I'm just going to make sure I'm going to just go ahead and say react dot create context. And uh, I'm just going to pass in a default value of what this context should hold, right? All right, so what goes in here is the default value and in almost every case, um, this could be like nothing, right? Anything, or you can just leave it blank because in almost every case, we won't be using the default value here. Instead, we would be using the value which we pass later on in our component, right? So now if we go ahead and return this as a component itself, what we can do is say my context provider. Now there are two things in a context the first one is a provider and second one is a consumer right we can see that if i do my context we get a provider and a consumer right here we won't be using consumer because we would be using react hooks which will be coming to later on but for the provider part what it does is that it allows all the components inside this particular provider to access whatever we pass inside this particular value attribute that is this value jsx attribute all right so now we don't need obviously we didn't need this uh, default value because we have to pass this value anyway so let's just go ahead and pass in a very simple object saying name as mayhood right and what i'm going to do is i'm going to wrap in some p's some devs and uh, i guess the order should be reversed but anyway another p and let's say i have my component right here right so this is my custom component and i'll just go ahead and create this my component and i'm just going to return this is a custom component now obviously in real world cases this would be all nested components and would be probably in different files but for now i'm just keeping it simple so that we can see and we see that i get this is a custom component right here in the browser in fact let me just go ahead and merge these two right here Right, so I have this is a custom component with me. Now the deal with context API is that I can access this particular value, whatever I pass in here, inside this particular component. Right? Doesn't matter how nested it is, doesn't matter where it is, as long as obviously this is a child of this particular component, particular provider. So how do we do that? Well, we'll see that how we can achieve that in the next video using something known as use context hook. So that's all for this one. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then in the next video.